Yeah. Now, every birthday, though, needs a birthday cake. And when the palace had to commission one that was literally fit for a queen, well, they turned to our good friend and they Nadia. Of course they did. So here she is at work on the actual, actual cake, which she'll present to Her Majesty In tomorrow. In her actual, actual kitchen. Yes. <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, I got an email saying, would I like to do the Queen's 90th birthday cake. My initial reaction was somebody's made a horrible mistake or it's a prank. And then I told my husband, and he was like, oh, that's fantastic, you're doing it, right? It's just like, how can you say no? But I told my daughter, oh, I'm making the Queen's birthday cake, what do you think? And um, she said, oh, but you've made lots of cakes for Mary Berry. It just dawned on me, I was like, she thinks Mary Berry's the Queen. <laughs> When it's a cake like this, you've got to get the spirit level out. See, that, that will bug me till I take every crumb off. Hey, hey! I'm making an orange drizzle cake with a buttercream and marmalade filling. I don't even know if the Queen likes orange. She might hate orange. I was going to go grapefruit, but I thought that was a bit out there. This is the drizzle part of the orange drizzle. It's such an honour. Kind of don't want to disappoint the Queen. OK, that's my hand trembling. So, yeah, I am, like, officially super nervous. These are three tiers. They're all going to be stacked up on top of each other. I don't know exactly what happens on Thursday, but all I know is that I do get to see the Queen and I do get to give her the cake. Suddenly, the pressure feels on again. Wish me luck. See?